Hello everyone, my name is Monica Bhushan and today we are starting lecture number 9 of linear algebra. In the previous class only we have discussed the rank of a matrix and we have solved one question also based on rank of the matrix, right? Today also we are going to discuss the rank but here we are going to solve very important question which usually comes in the exam where the rank is already given to you okay and the matrix has some unknown value and you have to find what is that unknown number which is present in the matrix based on the rank given okay fine and i hope that you have seen lecture number eight then only you will understand today's question fine so here is the rank what we have discussed already that if i have to find the rank of a matrix then two steps i have to follow fine no the very first step is what i have to convert the matrix into the echelon form this is my step number one which we have already discussed and the step number two is what then once we have converted the matrix into the echelon form we just have to find we have to count total number of non-zero rows and total number of non-zero rows will only be called as rank of the matrix fine so based on that definition we are going to solve this question okay what the question asks us find the values of k okay such that the following matrix may have rank equal to 3 may have rank equal to 2 that means they have already given you that the rank of the matrix is 3 and then we have to find what is the value of k similarly they have given that if the rank given to you is 2 then we have to know what is the value of k okay since we have discussed the complete concept of rank so i assume that you must be knowing that what does it mean if the rank is 3 that means all three rows are useful fine no this matrix is what the given matrix is 3 cross 3 matrix that means 3 rows and 3 columns okay if the rows are 3 and the rank is also 3 that means all 3 rows are distinct all 3 rows are useful for me and all these 3 rows are linearly independent in nature fine no what is linearly independent we have said that if any row can be made of other rows so that row will be called as linearly dependent fine no and linear is what if i am going to multiply any constant to any row so that will be called as some linear operation i am performing and dependent is what if by doing any elementary row operations if any particular row can be made using other rows that means that row is not needed okay if the row is 3 that means rank is 3 that means in the echelon form of this matrix i must be having all three non-zero rows okay and the step is exactly same step number one we are just going to perform is what i am going to convert the matrix into row echelon form okay and the second step will be what i will have to count total number of non-zero rows find no total number of non-zero rows that is the rank of the matrix and if the rank of the matrix is 3 that means in the row echelon form of the matrix i will not be having any non-zero row this is very simple okay now we are going to start the question fine so this is the given matrix what is my first step i am going to find the row echelon form of the matrix by using only elementary row operations we have discussed that we are not going to perform elementary column operation to convert the matrix into echelon form in the coming class we are going to see that when we have to use elementary column transformation okay so right now we are actually discussing this matrix so to convert the matrix into row echelon form my first focus is this number fine no very first element of very first row and that should be one and here this is one so fine okay and this one is called as what this is nothing but leading one fine no leading one so these things we have already discussed in our previous classes and we have discussed that all elements of the matrix below leading one should be zero 
fine now my focus is on this number right the, the element which is present at this location okay this should be zero but i'm seeing that this is one so i have to convert this one into zero by using elementary row operation so there are many operations which can come in your mind so so one operation is written down here you can use this operation this is what in my new equivalent matrix the row 2 will be what row 2 will be what r2 minus r1 fine so this is 1 minus 1 yes this is going to give you 0 similarly these elements we are going to perform r2 minus r1 so this is your 2 minus 1 is 1 4 minus 1 is 3 and k minus 1 is k minus 1 we don't know what is the value of k fine that only we have to find okay so this is my k minus 1 so in that case i have converted this number into 0 fine what is my next focus my next focus on this number right any number which is present at this location right so this is one and i should have zero here okay to make it into the row echelon form this number should be zero for that what i can do here also i can perform the same operation r3 minus r1 so it is going to give you zero similarly 4 minus 1 is 3 10 minus 1 is 9 and k square minus 1 is k square minus 1 fine so now what i'm going to do here so this is this is okay this is okay and this is okay my next focus is which number not this one right now my next focus is this one why because i'm only interested on the first non-zero number of any row so first non-zero number of this row is one that is okay similarly for row two I have to be sure that the first non-zero number should be 1, right? And here I am saying that this first non-zero number is 1. So, this is also okay. I don't have to worry about this place. Fine. What is my next focus? My next focus is this number. And what should be this number? So, as per the rule of echelon form, this number should be 0. Fine, no? Why? Because this is the leading one okay so this is the leading one of row number two so below leading one the number should be zero i'm not worried about number which is above leading one okay so this number can be anything i don't have any problem but the number below leading one should be zero to make it into the row echelon form okay so how to convert this three into zero so for that we have done this operation you can have many different operations but be sure that you avoid the division operation as much as possible not always it is possible to avoid division but if it is possible then we should avoid that one okay so now what is happening here so how to convert this as zero so we are doing what minus 3 r2 plus r3 fine fine minus 3 r2 plus r3 okay so you could have thought this minus 3 r1 plus r3 also right what we are going to perform is what minus 3 r2 plus r3 so first we will discuss this one so what is happening here minus 3 into r2 r2 is what for this number r2 is 1 and then plus r3 so this is what this is minus 3 plus 3 is 0 so you have got 0 here what about this location because any operation which you are performing on any row you have to perform on each and every element which is present in that row so you have to perform at this location also here also and here also minus 3 into r2 minus 3 into 0 it will be 0 plus 0 will be 0 suppose you had thought to do this operation because this is also going to give you zero at this location why because minus 3 into r1 will be what minus 3 only and then plus 3 will give you zero but what about this location here i have to have zero only i am not worried about this number i am not worried about this number but this should be zero so in that case it is your minus 3 into r1 r1 is 1 okay and then plus r3 0 that means minus 3 here you will get 0 but here you will get minus 3 which is also not acceptable so by practice you will come to know that which operation we should perform so that it will remain in the row echelon form okay so now this is what till here what you have done so here you got 0 okay now here what you are going to do minus 3 this operation is not okay this is okay so minus 3 r2 plus r3 is going to give you how much it is going to give you 0. Fine, no. Minus 9 plus 9 will be 0. Similarly, here what you are going to do? 
minus 3 into R2. R2 is what? K minus 1 and then plus R3. R3 is how much? R3 is K square minus 1. So I just have to simplify it. Minus 3K plus K plus K square minus 1. It is going to give me K square. Okay. And then minus 3K and then plus 2. Fine. No. So this we have written down K square minus 3K plus 2. Fine. And we have reached to row echelon form. Now I have to stop. Right. So my step number 1 is done. That I have converted this matrix into row echelon form. My step number 2 is what? I just have to count that total how many non-zero rows are present. Okay. Fine. So here I can see that 0, 0, 0 is there. And this number I am not sure whether this is going to give me 0 or not. But since they have given us already that row of the matrix or rank of the matrix is 3. Okay. So if the rank of the matrix is 3. That means total 3 non-zero rows are there in this matrix. Fine. To call this row as non-zero row. This entry should not be 0. Fine. To have rank 3. This entry which is k square minus 3k plus 2. This should not be 0. Fine. What will happen if it is 0. That means this complete row will be called as 0 row. And in that case. The rank of the matrix will be called as 2 only. Fine. So the second option what they have given that we have to find the value of K when the rank is equal to 2. So when the rank will be 2, when K square minus 3K plus 2 will give you 0. That means the rank of the matrix is 2. Fine. No. So I just have to find the value of K. So in this quadratic equation, I am just going to find what is the value of K. Okay, fine. So you just have to factorize it. This is nothing but k minus 1 and then k minus 2. Similarly, here you will write down this is k minus 1, k minus 2. But here this should not be 0. To have the rank 3, this should not be 0. To have the rank 2, this should be 0. That means either k is 1 or k is 2. If k is 1 or k is 2, then the rank of the matrix is 2. Similarly, you will write that K should not be 1 and then K should not be 2. Okay. And here you can check also. Suppose I am putting K1. Okay. So in that case, what will happen? This is your 1 square minus 3 plus 2. Fine. No. K square minus 3K plus 2 is going to give you 3 minus 3, which is your 0. So this will become 0 when I am putting K equals 1. That means the rank of the matrix will be 2. Similarly, if I am putting k equals uh, k equals 2, so in that case what will happen? This is your 4, okay, minus 4, 3, 6 and then plus 2. That means 6 minus 6. So if you are putting k equals 1 or you are putting k equals 2, so this entry will be 0. If this entry is 0, rank of the matrix is 2. And if these two numbers you are not going to put, that means the rank of the matrix will be 3, fine. So same thing is written here. Same thing we have done here. Fine. So if the concept of rank is clear. So any type of question we can solve. Fine. So if you find this class useful. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.